Roman's diesel, finally. And go! Okay, so today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going for a quick little drive in a late 2007 Cummins diesel truck. This is my first time driving diesel anything. So this will be interesting. The clutch is a twin disc, so I'm not used to it. It's very odd driving something so big and also something that doesn't rev high at all. It's very odd. I am like a menace to society driving this thing. It's so tall, even though it's not even lifted that much, but you still have the loud kind of Mack truck sound to it. I will be honest with all you guys on camera that for the record, I don't know a lot about diesels. So this is kind of a learning experience. I always forget that they don't rev that high. I always forget that first gear doesn't really exist because it's a low gear only for towing and pulling stuff. The main difference between a normal combustion motor and a diesel motor is that these don't have spark plugs, which is like mind blowing because you think you have to have that spark to create combustion, right? Well, not in a diesel. A diesel uses so much compression that that's what makes things go boom. That's why you always hear a very odd sound come from a diesel. It's a very signature sound. You know, growing up when you heard a school bus, you're always like, is the school bus broken, mom? Because it sounded like a bearing or something was out of it, but it was just from the diesel doing its thing. So starting in second, like the owner told me to, is kind of odd. As for how the truck looks and everything, it looks awesome. It has these fender flares, the wheels look good. It has this stupid, obnoxious, awesome towing, like hook, tow hook on the back. Now when it comes to diesels, there's very protective crowds of each type of diesel and Cummins is by far the most popular diesel for sure. For good reason though. They're pretty reliable, they're pretty badass, they're an inline, high displacement, and a ton of torque. A lot of people put on a tuner alone and just end up being a stupid fast truck. The throw is so long. Oh God. Yeah, it's gonna take some time to get used to. The first thing you really notice when you drive something like this is you can definitely see what its purpose was for. You can definitely tell that with all that low end torque, they could just tug anything. It pro you can definitely tell it wouldn't have a problem pulling anything at all. And that's why the Cummins has always been pretty legendary in the truck world. One thing though about diesels is that what a lot of other kind of tuner communities can't stand is the rolling coal stuff. People either love it or hate it. They're like, oh, look at that guy. That was hilarious. They just smoked that person out. Well, the rest of the scene is just like, look at that jerk. We didn't have to do that. What's great is no matter what you do, no matter what gear you're in, there is always turbo spool. So if you just want to cruise down the road and just have a turbo spool, you can't really beat this because you didn't really have to do anything. Though technically this is a six speed, but you pretty much only use five of the gears. I haven't used low once because there's no need to. But that mindset is very odd when you're like rowing it through the gears because your brain's going, didn't I skip something? It's kind of odd. When you look at the tachometer, you know, you're used to seeing sometimes six, seven, eight, sometimes nine in a uh, tachometer, but this only goes to five, and that's somewhere you just don't go really. You just hit around 3,500 to four grand and you're done. And four grand is pushing it too, you don't want to do that either. But once again, purpose built. Would you just listen to it? So what else makes this truck different from the ordinary Cummins Rams was this has an exhaust brake in it, which is an upgrade from the factory that wasn't that common. But this one does have it, and whenever you let off the gas and you start engine braking, perfect timing. You hear it every time. So let's come and do a stoplight. No big deal. Oh, come on gear. Now recently you guys might have remembered I drove a normal Ram with a just a 
normally aspirated V8 in it. And both times though, when you get in a truck, your mentality of driving is so much different. You're much wider, you're much taller, you have to have to really respect your space. Here, let's just... And, and it's definitely not like driving a regular performance car, that is for sure. Let the, in, the exhaust brake come on. It's like a little induction suction noise. <laughs> okay, so I can definitely see why a lot of people like these trucks, even if they're not going fast, because it's just like a theater in itself. Because everywhere you go, you're just making a bunch of noise. Another good thing about the Rams is the interior in here. I mean, it's all perfect, but it has pretty good spaces in the back. I sat in the back earlier and it wasn't bad. You have plenty of bed space as well. So when you get a truck like this for a purpose, like I said earlier, it does everything well. Come on, get into boost. Have you guys ever noticed Whenever you see a truck leaving a parking lot, and there's always that guy in a car meet that has a big diesel truck and they always floor it everywhere they go, I now know why they do that. Because one, it kind of helps the truck get going. And two, it's fun. I won't lie, it's pretty fun. So now, that guy is now that guy. I know why he's that guy. All right, that was a tongue twister, but now you know what I'm saying. I will say though, even though the shifter is kind of tricky, the transmission itself feels really solid. So I'm glad I could take some punishment from my terrible shifting. All right guys, I want to thank you all for watching this quick, short little fun video driving a Cummins. I had never driven a Cummins before, so hopefully we get, we get more of these later down the road. But it was a good introduction showing you what they're kind of like. And I want to thank Vinny so much for letting me drive his very pretty truck. And I will see you guys next time. And take it easy. Have a fantastic day. And don't forget to subscribe.